What's going on everyone and welcome to another episode of Pass the Joystick and I got Nick with me back again um, he has you know life happened unfortunately yeah. and then show him show him uh, what uh, uh, everything else happened <laughs> so he's been disabled for yeah. for a little bit I've been, I've been in a cast for about two weeks now so yeah <laughs> it's been uh, it's been one of those you know months you can say yeah it's been, <laughs> but, it's been um, glad to have you back we are back with another episode of Pass the Joystick. We are still here bringing you the news. And we have a lot of stuff going on for the channel. Um, if you guys already checked out the channel, we have um, Apex videos going up. We will have Smite videos going up very soon, done by Nick too, as soon as he recovers, of course. Yeah. <laughs> and we have a lot of stuff, uh, other stuff going on too in the channel. But uh, keep tabs on that, because we are gonna bring you a lot more. But for now, welcome to episode 10 of season two of Pass the Joystick. And Today we have a, a lot of good topics to talk about. I won't ask Nick what has he been playing because he can tell you what he has been playing <laughs> in the past few uh, weeks. It's been mobile games every day. <laughs> I can only use my left hand, so it's pretty much just a lot of a lot of one-handed games. Yeah, pretty much. every day. <laughs> uh, I was telling him I, I try to play Switch games recently, and I just can't wrap my hand around the remote. So I was like, I can't do console games right mm -hmm. now. So it's just uh, anime, TV, uh, and pretty much like all of the mobile games I've posted about previously, so. Which is good, I mean, at least you're getting some some type of gaming in, you know? Yeah, I probably would've lost my marbles by now, to be honest. Yeah, no, of crazy. course. <laughs> Without gaming, I, I mean, I would be the same way, to, to be honest. Yeah. But uh, but no, I mean, I've been playing kind of like the same stuff. It's uh, It's been a lot of Apex Legends, because of course, I've been uploading all, the, all these videos and whatnot. A lot of Smite, which has been really fun lately. It's been, it's been a, a, a lot of soul searching still from last uh, week that we talked about it but it's still been a um, really great time it's been a fun, really really fun and I mean we've been also playing uh, I mean I've been playing a lot of the Nintendo Switch which uh, a lot of the Mario games which we'll talk about Mario today unfortunately and we'll talk about uh, a little bit more about other stuff but welcome to episode 10 and let's kick it off with the Smite update uh, we talk about Smite pretty much all the time in this channel uh, we love the game and Today, actually, which we're recording this on a Wednesday, mm -hmm. and we just got an update from Smite. It's called the King of Uruk update, which they introduced the new character, the new god that is coming into the arena. It's Gilgamesh. The arena. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the, the battleground. So Gilgamesh is coming in. Uh, he is the following character from Tiamat, which was the uh, previous character. But so many updates. I mean, a lot, a lot, a lot, they, they a lot of good stuff. Actually, so much stuff. Yeah, it's been it's been fun. I mean, what what are you thinking? Yeah. What are you more excited about the new update? Uh, definitely Gilgamesh, because I'm just kind of like a sucker for warriors. I've always really yeah. loved warriors. They've always been really fun. It's just the idea of kind of like being always center and and front, mm -hmm. which is kind of his gimmick as well. Um, it just it's always good and especially since you're always the frontliner i kind of always felt like that's kind of like a lifestyle choice of yeah. mine and if you put me in a video game that i like and i get to just do be sort of there. like the same thing it's always pretty fun um he's always he's definitely in your face he's really ring focused so when he said arena um that's kind of like his gimmick he does he has an ultimate that creates like a circle and anyone in that circle is kind of like kept in the circle as long as he's on them mm -hmm. so uh looks good everything looks good they're actually starting to do what I hate to say it like this, but like what Fortnite does with their map, yeah. where every patch changes. they do like changes. Um, mm -hmm. They're gonna do it, I think, three more times this year, where they're gonna actually do more changes to the map. So this patch, they're gonna change visual style, and they're gonna add some like elements to it, where it's kind of like blockage on mm -hmm. the map, like vines they call it. Um, so it's definitely gonna be if, of course, whenever I think the update comes out on April twentieth. Yeah. So we're gonna have a few videos up before then, but. To go from that map to this map, you're going to see a big difference when that happens. Yeah. So, it's it's really interesting. I mean, it does keep it exciting. I will say that much because it keeps the map changes and everything all, all exciting and changing the conquest maps um, because you're used to a certain game style or, or gameplay that you do throughout the map, especially playing like let's say like a jungle or playing uh, somebody that switches lanes all the time, like a guardian or something like that. Mm -hmm you will have to adapt to the new playstyle because you have to take either new routes, you have to adapt to like the blockage that they put in the map too. So it's gonna be really interesting to understand kind of like how the new map will work. Now, I will ask you, because I didn't catch this in the in the update, is it something that is gonna change as you're playing or is it gonna be completely changed? Uh, I believe when the, 
when the update drops that day, the map's gonna have that change immediate. When, okay. Because it's it's like upon his arrival that they're adding like this type of okay. like live change to it. All right. And so, I think they said in two patches they're gonna do something else that's gonna be bigger. Okay. So, All right. So yeah, because that, that's one of the things that I was uh, wondering if it was like as you're playing, they block certain places of the map, which would be kind of cool uh, as the vines keep growing. Uh, up now, you know what I'm saying? Um, so that would be kind of uh -huh. like cool, but if it's like automatic that they change it, then hey, I yeah. mean, I'm cool with that too because again, it, it's a lot uh, about adapting. Yeah, about and adapting I know they did say that um, there's like those there's like little objectives around the map, and when you destroy those objectives, let's say you got rid of those vines at one okay. point, if you destroy that objective, it'll come back. Oh, okay, okay. So it like recreates it. So I don't know All exactly. Right. Um, I mean, what might, that's gonna do for gameplay? Right. It, it might be one of those that it, it'll maybe change on the positioning mm -hmm. on on the map itself. And like, hey, I don't know. I mean, PTS drops Friday. Yeah. I'll probably just hop in and watch and, and I'll check. be like this. Yeah, just, just check to it see out what I can look much. like. Yeah, mm -hmm. that might be a thing. That'll be pretty cool. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, the, the skins were announced too, and man. Dave. They, I mean, I, I, I think I said this in January, but they like gone all out. Yeah. They really this season, they, they just started going off in the beginning of the year, and now they're just keeping it going. Yeah. They're really doing a good job with the skins. And I mean, what was your favorite one? Because I can, I can speak on my favorite Oof. one, which... There were so many that they announced, but I really enjoy. Funny enough, it was the um, the one for the the guardian. What, what's her uh, the the elephant? Oh Ganesh, yeah, that Ganesh. skin looks amazing. Yeah, so I saw it. Really I saw it on Facebook. Okay, like weeks ago. It, okay, it was a Facebook ad, and I was like, this looks really weird. Oh, okay, interesting. And I thought it was a tier five because the tagline for it said, "Get the new tier Get five. Get the new tier five. And yeah. I was like, oh, they're making a tier five for Ganesh. Mm -hmm. People are gonna lose their mind for this. Yeah. And and then they just deleted the ad, and then it came back as like the skin that you're looking right. at now. So I was like, oh, that's pretty cool, but like. It's funny because I saw an really ad good. today about it too, and it said T five. Yeah. So is it gonna be tier five? Or I would no? hope so, but I don't think so. Because yeah. um, I mean that tier five just dropped. Yeah. Like with with uh, Chalk, was it? Right? Yeah. Yeah, Chuck. the Chalk skin. Usually they used to do tier fives twice. A year. They used to do it once a year. Now they're doing it twice a year, and then now they're doing it. I think it's like three or four times a year. Really? Yeah. Okay. So tier five so, was like a very the way they were gonna do it was they were gonna do a class a year. Okay. And oh, okay, all right. So now with eight years in, and they're doing. And they're <laughs> they're just pushing them out. them out. Yeah, they're yeah, just pushing them out. So. I mean that's pretty interesting. I did enjoy the Ganesh skin a lot, mm -hmm. um, it, but all the all the other skins look incredible. Yeah, I think um, everyone looks fantastic. I yeah. think Chiron is kind of the standout for me because I've always liked them. I think yeah. he always looks cool, Chiron and looks emphasizing really. on like the headless horseman thing. Yeah, that's really sick. And the so. fact that he has actually the the head on the side of the horse itself oh. there, it's it, like just the little details, you know. Yeah, little details like that is just really what brings the the gameplay into a lot more even though the skins really don't do anything for you yeah. but it it makes it that much better i mean it yeah. makes you feel like a better player oh that yeah that makes sense i feel like when i use skins i feel like a better player when you use skins that you like especially like if let's say for example you're waiting on a skin and you finally get it and now you're playing with that skin it's like so much different it's man. it's uh it's so good who was it there was a character like that that i, re I really wanted to skip for i think it was a raw skin i got um I remember I went on Twitter one day. This was a while back, and I wanted uh, it was like a mage raw skin. Okay. And I just entered a raffle, and I was like, "Oh, that's cool. If I get it, I get it." And then I woke up like the next day and I had it, and wow. I was like, "Nice." <laughs> so I went on that's a binge, awesome. and I got raw diamond in like a week. Oh yeah, so that's awesome. That I mean, really I, I was feeling like that, but it was with Scotty when I finally got the little such cold skin. Oh yeah, and I love that skin. I love memes with the Shiba Inu and everything. Ah, oh, I love it, and that skin is so fun. Yeah. But. Yeah, uh, the King of Uruk update is coming in on April 20th, and it's going to bring so much into the game uh, with a new character, new skins, new map design on the Conquest map. It's going to bring a lot, so yeah. I'm very excited. And they're finally, to um, what's the word for it? They're finally going to start adding a next-gen update for PS5. Finally, for the first yeah. Night. So, I know they're, let's they, hope, they let's said hope for Xbox is... Yeah, let's, let's hope for that. Let's hope for cross-progression, <laughs> Jesus. Alexia will get his stuff back. Oh, man, it would be, it would be something. Uh, but... And uh, a lot of items and characters got buffed and nerfed too, yep. which is kind of crazy. I mean, Sentinels got nerfed, which was which is surprising to me. I yeah. didn't think Sentinel was that much of a problem. Um, that but and uh, that's, that's getting uh, nerfed. What's that item called? There's another item that does the same exact thing as Sentinels, but Sentinels does it twice as better. So if you put them together, it just makes sure oh, okay. you just can't die. Yeah. So I mean, it yeah. was it's, it's crazy. Uh, for me, the most overpowered uh, one, other than uh, Mannequin Scepter which you know got nerfed 
was Bluestone. And Bluestone yeah. didn't get touched. It actually got buffed. Yeah, it's, it <laughs> got is, super buffed. It was a crazy buff. Like, like three times Insane. <laughs> like, if you're not using Bluestone, like, holy crap. Yeah, Sunnery I got the, the most used item in the game, basically, um, was a warrior item that every time you, like, hurt somebody, mm-hmm. you took a portion of their health. So... If you're playing a character that's unkillable and you're taking people's health, <laughs> you're pretty much not gonna die. You're not gonna die. Um, so they just they cut its utility by half. So now they want you to go more or less to what they intended the game to be this mm. season, which was like die, die, die. Like pretty you want to start the game and end the game in 25 minutes yeah. when originally it was 50 minutes a game. Yeah. So and in reality, and I mean, it's how you take the game now because you can you can really push a game, and depending on how you play, it could it could go 40, 50 minutes. Yeah, we've had that before. Of course, like we've had we've had off I mean, the new yeah, season it, where it's been it's been kind we're of in crazy. There for 45, 50 minutes, and they did say that the beginning of season eight was going to be su- or supposed to be uh, faster games. Yeah, and we have not gotten that. No. I feel like it's just been about the same type of pace. So it's it's about how the players pick items and how the players build and whatnot. Because, I feel like people are very afraid too. Yeah, you know? yeah. I, I mean, it's they they want you to play as an aggressive type player, and I get that. But there's times that you just can't. I mean, yeah. times you can, times you can't. But it, it depends on positioning on the map and all that stuff. So I don't know. A lot of people also recently joined the game. The player count skyrocketed yeah. on uh, Steam recently. I Crazy, believe. Crazy, right? So it's a lot of people learning. I know you guys came in a little bit before mm-hmm. that time frame. So you, I mean. A group of us kind of y'all already had yeah. an idea, but then when the update dropped, it, they, it always changes so much. Yeah. Kind of like what Apex does too. So mm-hmm. um, yeah, it's a bunch of new see, people you know, came in. It's it's been it's, it's just been chaotic because one thing that we discussed is letting level one players play conquest is yeah. kind of crazy because for certain other modes you have to be level 15 mm-hmm. to understand the game a little bit better and then you jump into that game but man we've gotten so many people like whenever we pick up randoms and everything it's just been crazy because you get low level uh, uh, players mm-hmm. and then you're like they're lost in the and they like get into somebody with me and I have like 4300 hours and like this guy just picked up the game and yeah, it's kind of exactly. like it's tough it's tough mm, I mean even hurts, though it, you know? even though it's good to get new players it's kind of tough like how the ranking system works yeah. because they really don't care when you're playing um, you know public matches no. they really don't care it's just go in there and do do what you want but mm. hey whatever we'll see Anyways. it adds a spice factor yeah yeah I mean you're <laughs> right the King of Uruk update coming in on April 20th check it out we'll put some links down below so you guys can see the trailers uh, for the map uh, some pictures for the characters and everything so check yeah. it out we'll do a Gigamesh first look whenever uh, yeah. whenever uh, he hits PTS definitely uh, and look, uh, look out for Nick's uh, Smite video so if you guys want to get into Smite uh, Nick will be doing uh, character builds and doing a little bit of everything kind of like what I'm doing for Apex so if you guys are new into Apex or you guys are looking into Apex for different characters check out the character breakdowns that I'm doing on that Yeah. which is going to be kind of like the same idea that Nick is going to be doing but for character builds giving you his tips and tricks he's been playing Smite since probably before he was born so you know he's been in there <laughs> uh, yeah probably since before I could hold a remote yeah, exactly. it feels like but uh the next topic is the PlayStation Plus. Uh, this is going to be pretty quick, but I really wanted to mention it because PlayStation Plus uh, games drop on April 6th, which is just a few days, and awesome games that are actually coming to the to the PlayStation Plus this mm-hmm. month. And I'm very, very excited for that. The first one is Days Gone, which Days Gone, um, oh, open world zombie wow. game, I is, coming, read, into, I uh, is coming on April 6th for PlayStation Plus. Cool. So if you guys haven't played it definitely download it i know i have not played it yet so i'm definitely downloading that because i got a lot of mixed reviews a lot of people liked that a lot of people hated it most people did hate it but i was like do i really do i really want to waste money even on black friday i was like do i really want to pick it up now which is more than half off and i still didn't pick it up so now that it's coming to playstation plus i'm very happy so i'm picking it up i'll let you guys uh know what i think of the game once i finish it so we'll see. Yeah. Have you played? I'll it? give it a try play? too. I haven't played it. No, um, yeah, okay. I've seen it on sale numerous times. Yeah, exactly. I've actually heard like 50-50 on it. So I've heard hate, but I've also heard people that actually really enjoy right, the game. Yeah, exactly. So Which I is kind of crazy like because uh, the, the game actually got tanked uh, on reviews, so it, it just got destroyed. Yeah. So I was like, I never go by reviews personally because a lot of the games I actually do enjoy. But this this has been one of those games that is it's kind of like in the back burner for me. So we'll, yeah. we'll see. I mean, it's now like a I get the chance. Game. You just yeah. Kinda... Now now I'm I'm very excited that it's coming to PlayStation Plus. Um, another game is Zombie Army Four, which is an older zombie game. Oh my god! It's, did you ever play that game? I did. Yeah, I yeah. did. I, I didn't put too much time into it to be honest with me you. Neither. But I mean, what I played it was pretty fun. But it's coming into the PlayStation Plus. 
And the last game is actually only for PlayStation 5. It's not coming to PlayStation 4. The other two were coming on PlayStation 4, but this one is only on PlayStation 5. Is the new game of Oddworld, uh, Soulstorm. <laughs> so this game is actually releasing on April 6th uh, completely, and they're actually giving it to you for free for PlayStation Plus Game of the Month. Wow. So it is very, very interesting. Um, I'm excited to play this one. I've heard like great things about it from what I've read and from what I've seen. And yeah, I mean, it's coming for free for the PlayStation Plus games of the month. So I'm excited for it. We'll see, we'll see what they bring with, uh, with Oddworld. Make sure you download those games because they're gonna be really fun. We'll post the links down below so you guys can see it. Make sure April 6th, download all of that. Free games, man. If you're ever PS Plus, you might as well I mean, yeah, games. exactly. If you if you have PlayStation Plus, why not? Yeah, it's like a cheap alternative. The, the, ones, for, the ones for, what was it, March was... Uh, uh, Final Fantasy VII and Remnant. And Remnant, yes. Yeah, which Remnant. I got to download Final Fantasy Which was, tonight, which was interesting. And Final Fantasy VII, the remake, and then Remnant uh, from the Ashes. We did play Remnant. We finished that game and it was really fun. So you have a few days to download those. And then April 6th, download all the new ones. They're all going to be available the day of. So make sure you do that. And then we did say that we're recording this on uh, Wednesday, which is March 31st. You guys probably seen it a few days, but March 31st is the, uh, or they said that it's going to be the death of Mario Day. So unfortunately, Mario is dead today, but not really. But not really. <laughs> He's not really dead. So Mario, um, actually, the Mario 3D All Stars game is actually out of retailers. It's out of the Nintendo eShop. You can only get it probably for like inflated prices, like are going to be pretty oh, much like ridiculous. Super I, I, I'm still thinking what they're going to do is they're going to remove it and then tomorrow or the next day they're going to put up each game for $60 a piece. Most likely. That's the only it, thing it that makes sense to It me. wouldn't surprise me but to be honest with you I, I think they're, they're going to wait like a little bit maybe. Yeah. Like a year? <laughs> they probably will wait a little bit because now if you look into like eBay uh, even Amazon I was reading that they have the game like ridiculously Inflated. Priced. Yeah it's like super inflated. there's a UK page of um, I, I, I think it was eBay but they have it for like 200% up already Ooh. on price i was like holy I guess crap man, hey, just it is it. it is ridiculous wow so yeah so the mario 3d all-stars game is out so if you didn't get it i'm sorry if you want it you have to pay these ridiculous prices please don't do that because man it is crazy i was able to pick it up i know nick also I got it, it. so it. super fun we were able to pick that up and then the mario 35th anniversary japanese page twitter it's also closing um today on March 31st so that's why it's kind of considered the death of Mario so like two two things are happening for Mario the, the Twitter page for the 35th anniversary is closing up and then Mario 3D All-Stars it's going out so retail what a bummer bro it's kind of crazy I yeah. mean th think about that how they did a limited release for a game for the Mario release. game for a Mario game yeah, yeah it could have been any other game it could have been any other title you could have did a limited run for like an OG maybe Metroid game mm -hmm. and it, that would have been okay to be honest with you it wouldn't surprise me that if they like they do what you said but instead of like 60 they put them for each like 30 bucks uh, 30 digital bucks only piece, 35 bucks a piece yeah um, something like that it would be like it wouldn't surprise me if they do that because I mean, if you didn't get it and you want to play them, you will pay that yeah. much money for it. But that, that that was a great deal. Like all games for sixty bucks, even though sixty was kind of crazy. I I paid it whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted the games, but it, it's it's wild that they're just doing the limited release and then now it's out. It's gone. Yeah. I think the worst thing that would happen is if for some reason my chip broke and I can't play it anymore. Oh I man, I bought a digital, so yeah. <laughs> I, got, I got it as a Christmas gift. So okay. I was like. Thank you. Yeah, uh, for me, uh, now Nintendo is also doing cloud saving, which is the greatest thing. Yeah, so true. cloud saving now, even if your uh, Nintendo Switch breaks, so like I have my games digital mostly. If it breaks, at least I have them updated to the cloud. So if I get on the Nintendo Switch, all I got to do is download my account into it. Okay. So it's, it's great. It's kind of like what Xbox and PlayStation did, which took them a while for Nintendo, to be honest, but they finally did it. Yeah, Xbox we'll has always been ahead of the curve with these type of stuff. Yeah, though, so. I agree. But finally, our final topic is a, a big one in the gaming industry and also the movie industry. But it is delays. So, like, delays in the gaming industry. Uh, lately, we've been seeing so many delays in a lot of games. In not only games, but also movies. And the reason why I mention movies is because a lot of movies um, are video game movies. So, like, Mortal Kombat actually got delayed from, what was it, the 17th? to the 23rd uh, yeah it's either that or 16th to 22nd yeah, some, it's one of those days 
Yeah, so that movie got delayed, and then uh, the Resident Evil movie, Welcome to Raccoon City, also got delayed from September now to November. So a few months, actually, got delayed. Damn. And yeah, yeah wow. delays are delays are kind of crazy. Yeah. How do you feel about delays in the gaming industry? Like, um, what what do you think? Oof. What do you think? How, how how do you feel about the whole, you know, announcing a game, getting your uh, high hopes in for the game, and then, hey, it's going to be delayed? I think the only time it's ever truly bothered me was uh, Cyberpunk and mm. Scalebound. Okay. Oh, I think man. Those Scalebound. are the two games. Don't even mention yeah. that. Man. Those are the two games that really messed me up because I was, like, really looking forward to these games. Mm -hmm. um, and I never. Or, like, the original Prey 2, which was. Um, so they came out with the, the actual Prey 2, which is kind of like a Bioshock ish mm -hmm. type of game. And you go into a spaceship and then you fight against yeah. these creatures that can turn into anything in the environment. Mm -hmm. That includes a coffee mug. You see a coffee oh, mug, yeah. you can be <laughs> uh, which is funny to me. But the original design for Prey 2 was supposed to be like a Boba Fett type of game where you were actually going around the universe to okay. different planets as a bounty hunter. And I thought that sounded sick. Mm -hmm. A lot of other people did. But um, it tanked. Mm -hmm. They never actually made the game. Um, right. They delayed it for a while. Never heard anything about it, and then they just said that they're going to remake it. So it's that's been wild. really rough. Yeah, I mean, it's it's kind of crazy. Delays for me, it, it's it's wild because I I get it. Uh, maybe a game is not ready. Yeah, I, I understand that. In that case, the game, the game is not ready. Hey, take your time, finish it. But if you feel like deeply as a developer that if the game is not ready, why announce it so early and say, hey, the game is coming certain date yep. it's coming but then you say you know what we need more time we're gonna delay it a little bit more they give us like eight months you're like yeah Ooh. let's say cd project red like you mentioned with cyberpunk hey it's coming this year like no now it's coming this year now it's coming this month like it, we, it got delayed so many times yeah it was and that was all in the span of a year too yeah it was ridiculous so. on how many times it got delayed so and we have so many delays now like we just found out about halo infinite unfortunately like two hours ago yeah, yeah like halo, right like a little bit before this recording they announced the delay. yeah halo infinite now instead of um 2021 which was the um the holiday season of 2021 mm -hmm. it got delayed to summer 2022 so that's, that's a really odd launch. i mean i'm really not against it but that's a really odd launch window yeah i mean was the last time a that, big summer game came out that wasn't last of us yeah not nah, it really it really hasn't been like it, it all the big titles triple a titles usually come at the end of the year yeah that's usually or they'll drop like that one really good game in january yeah and then in the beginning to the end of the year mm -hmm. so but it's kind of crazy because now this is like what the third fourth delayed for halo infinite it's been it's been yeah. delayed uh, a few times because it's, it was supposed to come out for the xbox one yeah thank god it did it yeah now it, it would have been it would have been probably it, just it, as yeah, bad as cyberpunk i agree but now we were supposed to get it with the launch of the xbox series Obviously, we didn't get that because it got delayed till the 2021 holiday season. And now we're not even getting it in the holiday 2021. We're going into summer 2022. People might have their Xboxes by then. I mean, ho hopefully, <laughs> they right? They might have their hopefully Xboxes. Hopefully, they're in stock. Yeah. But it's kind of crazy. Funny. Like, Halo Infinite, it's probably the biggest game that you can think of when you think of an Xbox. It's mm -hmm. kind of like thinking of The Last of Us or God of War for when you think <sighs> of PlayStation. So damn man God, it's it's wild that they're they're just delaying the biggest game that microsoft probably has yeah. under their belt i'm hoping that the delay is for the actual good reason because i remember like seeing the uh screen caps that they were doing for the game where they were showing like the armors okay and i'm like that looks amazing yeah so if the game if whatever they're doing for the delay and i'm sure it's for a good reason yeah if it's to give more of what they're doing with that and to like what's the word for it? like double down on that mm -hmm. times 10 and then deliver it's gonna be like it's gonna I'm, be out of this world yeah no i'm hoping that they actually bring good news into like what why they're doing it and everything um, i'm gonna post a picture so you guys can see the the picture of you know the the announcement of why they're they're delaying it and everything but i, I really hope that the final product is that good yeah i, I really hope so that when we get into the game it's like mind blowing i hope like you drop and then it's just atmosphere yeah i feel like a good atmosphere makes a game oh yeah no. better than most that's atmosphere like what defines it. and then really taking the power of the new xbox like mm -hmm. if you really can capitalize on using the full power of the xbox series like you really got me yeah there. like what crackdown wanted to do with the servers and they just yeah, yeah exactly didn't do it at and, all yeah it, it, they um, overextended that yeah <laughs> they were really like we're gonna use cloud service to make the map destroyed mm -hmm. and you're like ah, and then you go into a freaking single player and you just go nah. <laughs> shoot something and then the building's like not pebble <laughs> like, oh my god but i'm i'm hoping i mean i'm very i'm very hopeful on 343 industries 
We'll see what they do. Knock on wood, bro. Uh, we'll see. If We're gonna get some news eventually. Yeah, exactly. We're actually gonna get gameplay, gameplay. That's gonna. I mean, E3 be is their happening. Vision. Uh, finally, this year we're getting a digital event of E3, so hopefully we get some news then, and hopefully we get to see more of the game because I'm excited to see what Halo will bring uh, on the new game. Yeah. And they are very ambitious of, of everything that they're trying to do. So hopefully they actually bring yeah know, good stuff into it. We we'll see. Hope, man. But a lot of other games got delayed, like Hogwarts Legacy, the new Harry Potter game, which we were supposed to see, you know, very soon, but we're not get going to. Back for Blood, which is the new Left for Dead, but we're not getting that either very soon. <laughs> that's next year, right? Yeah, that's next year. And then Gotham Knights also got delayed, the new um, multiplayer game for the uh, Arkham series, which is supposed to be a big game also, also got delayed. Yeah. But man, I'm delays. thinking it's for a good reason. Obviously, I'm, I'm, I mean that's that's what you can only hope. Yeah, to be honest I'm, with I'm you. hoping this is a situation where the consoles came out, so they're like, wait a minute, we can definitely take the year to take the to take like our dev kits and just like completely spin these games into new engines. But but what's the possibility of that actually happening? Right. Not that high. It's just think about this. It, you have new consoles like the PlayStation Five, the Xbox Series, and we really don't have games that really take advantage of that. You know. Cyberpunk was supposed yeah. to be that one. We don't. We didn't get it, unfortunately, with Cyberpunk. But you have these amazing consoles that have all these power. But right now, we don't really have a game that will take advantage of that. I'm thinking that the first game, to be honest with you, that is going to be taking advantage of that is going to be God of War. Yeah. Because I think God of War is going to be the first one to release between all these games. I definitely, I definitely do. I think the only game that takes advantage that I've played myself, I haven't played in a bit because obviously situation, mm-hmm. um, was Immortals taking advantage of the actual like boost that they yeah. offered because it was 60 fps it did um uh dolby atmos mm-hmm. whatever and that ended up actually being um and then it actually the load times were significantly load times are different that's on that's on most games though yeah. yeah like you can definitely see that it improves on that but a monster game hunter that, yeah yeah monster hunter, monster hunter is a, big deal. a lot of a lot of games that actually will take advantage on like the ray tracing load times the boost in graphics yeah. on frames all that stuff we really need a game that will actually deliver on that. everything yeah like everything. and everything exactly because a lot of the games i mean we're getting games that will obviously support the 60 fps we're getting games that will support 4k dolby vision dolby atmos all these crazy things mm-hmm. that it, it's good but give me a game that has everything and you know halo god of war all these great big titles that probably will come next year or this year at the end hopefully it's, it's one of those that will take advantage yeah of I, there's a lot of stuff that could happen i, I feel i feel god of war will be the first one and i, re- I i'm hoping i'm because god of war probably is the biggest title that playstation has other than of course horizon that it has but god of war i feel like it'll be the big game yeah was it horizon 2022 uh, was it? I, I, I think so. I'm not following that, that game like too much, even though I, I, yeah. I love the game. I thought the first wrong. one was fantastic. I love the game, don't get me wrong. Yeah. But it's I feel like God of like War it. will be that title, you know, for, mm-hmm. for PlayStation. Well, that's going to be the reason I buy it. It's God of War and Halo. Those are the two for each console that are going to be like the big, the and big ones. And Mario. And Mario, of course. <laughs> I mean, you know, oh, what's God, funny is, what a difference in I'm, character. I'm hoping... Oh, let's talk about delays, you know, on, on Nintendo. <laughs> Nintendo is that one company that actually does not do big delays on their games. No. It is crazy because, but my favorite thing about Nintendo is when they announce a the game, they say, hey, by the way, it's coming out tomorrow. Yeah, or today. It's amazing. Yeah, I like, love that. Try the demo yeah, now, and you're like, now. <gasps> like download it now. It's so freaking great. And when they announce a game, they're very confident about their team yeah. that they can deliver the game in that time frame. So if they say, hey, this game is coming this date, we get it, that date. It is amazing. Nintendo is... These companies should take some tips from Nintendo. That's probably why we haven't heard anything about Metroid yet. Exactly. Stuck in development. Exactly. We're we're over here thinking like, we're going to get Metroid. We're going to get Metroid. But we really haven't heard anything. Yeah. But the moment that we do hear from it, it's coming. Like, it, it's going to be beautiful. It's going to blow my mind. They're going to... They're gonna. I'm, my wish, and I've been saying this for a while now, is they're going to drop it with the... Uh, either going to drop it with the new Switch, or they're going to announce it with the new Switch. And I'm hoping, drop it like six months after. I'm hoping that E3 is going to be big, and I feel like Nintendo's going to take the cake. Yeah. Because all these developers, even though they have great games announced, or they have great ideas, the games are not coming yeah. like, for maybe another year. And Nintendo yeah. has the Easily. advantage of releasing a new, a new Nintendo Switch, the Pro, hopefully. Yeah. And they have the ability of releasing new AAA titles that are exclusive to them, like Metroid. Yeah. So I feel More like Nintendo. I feel like Nintendo will kill it in this E3. To be honest, 
But we'll see. Uh, what do you guys think of delays in the game industry? Let us know down below in the comments. Like, how do you feel when your favorite game gets delayed by a few months or maybe a year? Two so years. So it's it's kind of wild. But it's there's so many things happening in the game industry. Um, E3 is coming. What are you guys hoping to see at E3? Because E3 is supposed to bring all the biggest titles of what we're hoping is going to be either this year or next year or you know in the following what are the developers thinking about what games are coming out because we have so many from nintendo microsoft uh obviously microsoft acquiring so many different companies discord then, maybe yeah discord might be might be a, a big yeah. thing and having discord integrated with the xbox chat would be now nuts. incredible would be nuts. like it would be just wild every time i can open discord on my phone and then join xbox party <laughs> it's over bro with the new xbox has that connects to your phone and your xbox wow imagine like oh. it, uh, in the, it's oh. like they planned this yeah <laughs> seriously <laughs> it would be so yeah. freaking ridiculous and i feel like microsoft will do good and now PlayStation, like what? What is PlayStation doing? What are they thinking? Uh, oh. What are you hoping to see from PlayStation? So, I mean, I'm very dreamy when it comes to stuff like that. Because whenever PlayStation does some sort of announcement, it's always something very magical to a degree. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm definitely hoping soon we see either a trailer, trailer, or a gameplay of some sort of the of Ragnarok, God of War. Of course. Um, maybe a little something of Horizon. I mean, I want them to either bring back a new property or bring back an old property. Uh, I could definitely see Jack and Daxter being a PS5 yeah. game for sure. Mm -hmm. um, or like a remaster of Jack and Daxter for PS5 being a game, dude. That would be sick. Yeah. Uh, besides that, I think it's just going to be like stick to your guns. They're going to mm -hmm. keep releasing what they're doing. I feel like that's what exactly what they're going to do. They're just going to stick to what they're comfortable with because they're doing a good job. Don't yeah. get me wrong. I just feel like the other companies like Nintendo and, and Microsoft are just doing better yeah. this year. Like Microsoft... You gotta give credit where credit is due. Microsoft is doing it. Like yeah. to be honest, with you just you, open your phone and go on any app that you mm -hmm. use for news, and it's something about Game Pass. Yeah, like <laughs> Game Pass. Now they're acquiring so many different companies. Like Bethesda was probably the biggest one, and the fact that they added all these games from Bethesda into Game Pass, Doom Eternal. It's wild. Oof. It's so crazy. Now you get uh, all these Bethesda games. Now they're in talks to acquiring Discord. So Microsoft is just providing for the gamer. Now, Sony, unfortunately, on the other hand, even though they're releasing like great titles and everything, there's just no, no support behind it. They might have like an awesome console, but there's just no, no, not enough support, in my opinion, yeah. for that. I don't get the same feeling that when yeah. I open up my PS4 than I did with my Xbox. Yeah, and I, I like that for a while. So. I agree. Yeah. Even, even when I turn on my PlayStation 5 now, I barely have anything that I want to play on it. Like, I downloaded like Last Destruction, of Us. maybe? Yeah, Destruction All Stars. Um, freaking fall guys and all that stuff and even then fall guys is coming to every console it's in coming to xbox the summer. in a few months yeah exactly <laughs> that's gonna so, get less play time now. <laughs> exactly less play time like i downloaded the last of us 2 because it got the updated for the for the playstation 5 so i'm gonna start that again and i'll yeah. let you guys how that is but right now there's really, about there's really nothing there's really no no support and everything behind it i like my playstation 5 but in reality it's just there right now uh but my my series is getting a lot of play time yeah because it has, it has. Obviously, you gotta, like I said, you gotta give credit where credit is due. Xbox just has it when it comes to like online gameplay and all that stuff. So they have the better servers. They're killing it. We'll see. E3 yeah. is coming out in the summer. Hopefully, uh, it usually happens in June. So we'll see when June comes around. We'll let you guys know. Uh, we'll hopefully by then we'll be able to stream and we can stream it for you guys too. So that'd we'll be see. Fun. Actually, yeah, that would be, be a fun night. That'd be that'd be great, really good if we can talk about it as, yeah, like as a live it goes. Stream, right? Yeah, exactly. There you go. So we'll see. We'll see. A lot of stuff to look forward to. Yeah. Um, but that's pretty much it for us today. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, Thank you. Ho um, hopefully, Nick is better for by next time, even though it's like a two more weeks or so. Yeah. So <laughs> you might see him like for well, one, or, one more time or two more times with it. And then we can get into the real gameplay. And we, you guys can see uh, more Smite stuff on the channel. Uh, I will be bringing you more um, Apex stuff in the channel, too. So keep tabs on that. If you guys have any comments, question, concern, or you guys want to see any other stuff, any other games, uh, breakdowns or anything like that, let us know down below in the comments because we have a lot of people that can work on these things for you guys. So let us know. We have a lot of videos coming in later on also. Uh, we're going to be doing tour videos, which are going to be really fun. Um, I'm not going to mention too much about that. Then we have sister channels that we're bring, uh, thinking of bringing to. So we mentioned it on the last episode. Uh, keep tabs on that. It's going to be really fun. But that's pretty much it. Pretty good time. Yeah, yeah. for sure. 
Uh, always keep a lookout for the socials whenever we post stuff. Um, more activity, definitely going to uh, Instagram, for an example, because now we're just kind of posting general yeah. stuff instead of just like complete a game, general mm-hmm. opinions on it. Um, so it's been really good, in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, besides that, keep a lookout for more possible videos coming out the end of this week or maybe sometime next week. You might see something special. Yeah. But until then, take care. Pass the joystick, guys. See you later, guys.